everyone, I'm Maggie Weldon from maggiescrochet.com and I'm here to introduce a bunch of patriotic designs that we've um, recently created and a lot of these are actually all of them are very easy scale so they're great for beginners and um, there's a nice little purse here with a matching hat and scarf to start with and this is Deborah Norville's Serenity Chunky Yarn which is available at maggiescrochet.com and then um, we have I've taken the ruffled scarf um, from a video that we previously did and I added Premier Yarns Mary to the top of it and this is Premier's Enchant Yarn and we just wound this around and put the button in the middle so you could use it like for a lapel or like a hair thing and then we did some cute little um, coasters with cotton yarn and then this is done with worsted weight yarn and my daughter laughs at me because I like Ice House beer. But anyway, um, and she tells me that at the local little pub that they go to or the bar uh, that some of the guys are showing up with these beer cozies. So I'm just taking her word for it. So um, then we're going to come out with some other ones too. So this scarf is really cute, very easy to make and that's also out of the Serenity Chunky Yarn. And then this necklace I have on could not be easier. It's great for kids to do, um, just for beginners, because all it is is chains. So this is Starry Night from Premier, and this is Starbella, which is typically used for the ruffling um, scarves, but you can crochet with it, and it makes a real awesome, easy project to do. And then lastly, this is Red Heart Sachet Yarn, already with all the different red, white, and blue colors, and it's like super easy ruffled scarf to make. So now I'm gonna take you to a close-up, and Christina is gonna show you how to make these projects. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel, and the links to everything are listed below. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com, and today I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little star applique. Um, this could be used on a number of things. As you can see here, I've got it on uh, an oven mitt. Um, but it's a really simple start. I've just used worsted weight yarn and a size I9 crochet hook for this project. Um, now, like I said, you could use these little stars for a number of things, um, especially with uh, the holiday, the 4th of July holiday coming up. Uh, so let me show you how I made it. To begin, take your yarn and your crochet hook. I'm using worsted weight yarn and a size I9 hook for this project. And you'll start by just chaining four, then slip stitching to form a ring. So take your hook, go into that chain nearest your slip knot, grab a loop and pull it through. You've got two loops on your hook, so just pull that through the one that was there first. And then that gives us this little ring that we can work in. Then we're going to chain one and work 15 double crochets right in the center of the ring. So yarn over, go right there in the middle, grab a loop, pull it through. There's three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one double crochet. I need a total of 15, so I'm going to go off and do that, and I'll come back and show you the next step. Once you've got 15 double crochets, we're going to join with a slip stitch to form a ring. So just go right into the top of that very first double crochet, grab a loop, pull it through, pull it through the loop already on your hook. For round two, you'll start by chaining five, slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, so one, two, just go right in there, grab a loop, pull it through, pull it through the loop already on your hook, single crochet in the next chain, half double in the next, so that's a yarn over, insert into the stitch, grab a loop, pull it through, and now you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. And then in the last one, just do a regular double. Skip the next two double crochets, so uh, one, two, slip stitch in the next one, and repeat. So chain five, slip stitch in the second chain, single in the next, half double, yarn over, insert into the stitch, grab a loop, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and the last one, do a double. 
skip two, one, two, slip stitch in the next one. And that gives you these great little uh, points. So we're just gonna do, we've got two points now, we're gonna go and do three more. And when you come back around, you can just slip stitch to join and uh, finish off and weave in your ends. So here's what the finished star looks like. This is about, oh, I don't know, three or four inches across from here to here. And now all that remains is just to sew it on to our oven mitt. Now you are gonna, you aren't gonna be able to use, um, you like your long tail for this. A lot of times, you know, we'll say leave a long tail for sewing. You're not gonna be able to get a yarn needle through this oven mitt easily. So you will need to get just some regular old sewing thread to sew this on. So position it wherever you like it. I'm gonna do several on here, kind of just scattered around. And then using your small needle and your thread. So let's start from this way so our knot ends up in the middle. There we go. And we'll just sew this on. You can either just make it really easy and whip stitch through these outer stitches. You'll see the thread a little bit, but since it matches our um, oven mitt, it won't be that noticeable. Or if you prefer, you can kind of go, it'll take a little bit longer, but you can go into it from underneath so that your stitches are invisible. Either way will work, it just kind of depends on what aesthetic you're going for. So just stitch that on all the way around the edges. I'll make a couple more, make some red ones to go on here as well. So I have a fun little oven mitt and you can applique these onto pretty much anything. If you've got a dish towel or a hat or something like that, um, you can go ahead and just spice it up just a little bit with these little stars. Well, guys, I hope that this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions about how to, um, uh, about how to do this project, you can certainly leave them down in the comments below and in the description, you'll find the pattern and everything you need for this project. Thanks for watching. And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that.